Hello students, I uh, hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to discuss about the heart of algebra and that is very important part of the SAT mathematics, right? So you know about my uh, myself, right? So this is Big Vijay Singh and uh, I am SAT plus educator. I have the 10 plus year of SAT experience and I am plus verified educator on an academy platform also i am us certified for these tests like sat gre gmat even for ap calculus right okay uh, so you can you you can join us uh, on telegram and you can just click on this link uh, to join on the telegram and definitely you can find some you know the importance update there so updates about sat uh, like the test series or you can say um, SAT, you know, the course, syllabus, and as well as if there is any update uh, from the college board, so you'll also get that update. Okay, guys, so uh, this is the Unacademy subscription features. There are, you know, a lot of features there. So you can learn from the home uh, definitely as your comfort, right? Uh, you have the unlimited access of all the courses, and then you have the top educator of India. Uh, on one platform right then you have the mentorship and the guidance then you have the study material and the uh, as the PDF format then you have the practice test then you have the light test series then you have the batch courses plus you have daily practice uh, section and then weekly mock test series live quizzes daily MCQ and subjective test series right guys so let's uh, you know discuss about the part of algebra okay so you know part of algebra is a important part of the SAT mathematics so if i talk about the SAT mathematics so heart of algebra covers the linear equations there okay let me okay, okay so heart of algebra cover linear equations right um and then and uh, you know the system of equations like where you have the two equations and the two variable then the absolute value then graphing linear you know equations and the linear inequality and the system of inequality so we'll discuss about the few concept right the few formulas the formulas those are very very important so let's let me talk about those formulas so uh like the very first one is the complete uh, i mean the square so suppose if I say a plus b is square. So what is a plus b square? So a plus b whole square is what? a square plus b square plus 2ab. Right? Uh, then we have the a minus b whole square. Then it is a square plus b square minus 2ab. Then this is actually very, very important. This is a square minus b square. And this is a plus b it's like you can understand like this one time add and one time subtract right uh, then you have a cube plus b cube so a cube plus b cube is what this is a plus b a square minus a b plus b square and then you have a cube minus b cube that is a minus b and a square plus a b plus b square. A cube plus b cube you also write down like this. Let me you guys. I'm using the another club pen. Okay, so a cube plus b cube. So you can write down a plus b cube minus what will be that 3ab and a plus b. That will be the same thing, right? And yes, these are very, very important, you know, the concept or I would say the, the formulas, right? 
you always remember this you should always remember this because these uh, help a lot in algebraicity algebra right and believe me if you uh, understand the sct algebra right so definitely you know the total r58 question in uh, if you add the no calculator one and the calculator one right so there are total 58 questions so out of 58 question if you know the algebra very well so definitely i would say will be able to solve around 25 question 20 to 25 question very easily yes because in no calculator one you know guys in no calculator one out of 20 questions so almost 13 question 12 to 13 question are from the algebra only okay so algebra if you are good if you have a good hold on the algebra definitely you will do good in the sat mathematics okay uh, then let's do some questions now again change color of the pen okay guys so this is a question uh, which of the following is equivalent to this right so we have given one over x square minus one plus x square minus two x divided by x square minus one right guys so here if you see this is sorry plus okay if you see here uh, you have the same denominator if you have same denominator you can just add the numerator there so if you add the numerator, so this is x square plus 2x plus 1. Now if you see this, actually this become what x square plus 2 times 1 times x plus 1 square divided by x square minus 1. So definitely this is x square plus 2x plus 1. Uh, I mean x square plus 2x plus 1 is as x plus 1 whole square. So this become x plus 1 all square divided by x square minus 1. So numerator you can write down x plus 1 times x minus x plus 1 because that is a square. And the denominator is x plus 1 times x minus 1. So this cancel by this. So you get x plus 1 divided by x minus 1, right? So if you see the first one, first one because the, this, you know, if you see the directly nothing match with x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. If you see the first one, so first one is actually with what is this one divided by this fraction. So the fraction in the denominator will be the reciprocal now. So it will be x minus one divided by x plus one. Does it match with this? No. So A you can eliminate. What about uh, B? B again fraction in the denominator will be the reciprocal now. So x plus one divided by x minus one. Does this match? Yes. So B is the answer. Understand guys? Uh, now we'll do the another question. This is question number two. Uh, this is something if the polynomial expression 9x square over 3x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 3x minus 1 is equal to a, sorry, plus a, what is a in terms of x? Okay, so you need to find a in terms of x. So first of all, if you need to isolate a, so what is a? Uh, with a there so this is with a right so 1 over 3 x minus 1 so you can take 1 over 3 x minus 1 to the other side so that will be what 9 x square divided by 3 x minus 1 minus 1 over 3 x minus 1 is equal to a right Okay, guys, so now next is hmm. okay, again we have the denominator same. So if the denominator is same, are same, so definitely you can just add or subtract, you know, the numerator. So it becomes a 9x square minus 1 is equal to a. Right, guys? now what do we think about 9x square minus 1 so 9x square minus 1 so if you see this right you can write down 9x square as 3x square minus 1 square divided by 3x minus 1 correct is equal to a right and then it is what 3x minus 1 
So this is one time subtract and one time add 3x plus 1 divided by 3x minus 1 and that is equal to a. Right guys? Now you can cancel out because they are in multiplication so this cancel out by this. So what is left? So left is 3x plus 1 is equal to a. Do we have this as the answer choices because we need to find the value of a only? Yes, we have that is C. That's the answer. Okay, guys, please check this quickly. 30 seconds. Okay, let's try this question number three. Please read the question quickly. 30, 40 seconds and then check how we can do. Okay, what we have given, okay, this seems a uh, little complicated, right? Uh, so this is m by n is equal to 3 by a. And what do we need to find? 4m plus 3n divided by 4m minus 3n. Okay, so there are two ways to solve this question, right? The first way is you can, you know, change, uh, you can just find the value of m in terms of n right and then you can substitute in the second one right let's do that method first of all so that is equal to what do you get if you just need to find m so m will be what 3 by 8 n right and now in this fraction you just substitute the value of n m as 3 by 3 by 8 n so that will be 4 3 by 8 you know n plus 3 n divided by 4 this is 3 by 8 n minus 3 n right now so if you simplify this uh, i mean this fraction here because we're multiplying there so this is equal to 12 by 8 or you can uh, write down a okay let's write down 12 by 8 n minus plus 3 n divided by 12 by 8 n minus 3n right now what should we do now so you just okay now you just simplify this because this is n and n so you can add 12 by 8 plus uh, 3 so 12 by 8 plus 3 will be what so 824 24 that will be 36 by 8n and it's going to be subtracted so this is negative 12 by 8 you know n so n is cancelled by n because that is the in numerator and denominator this is 38 by 6 and the fraction in the denominator will be reciprocal so it will be negative 8 by 12 guys right 12 cancelled by uh, i mean 36 cancelled by 12 that is going to be 3 8 cancelled by 8 or you can say negative 8 cancelled by uh, 8 that is negative 1 so 3 multiplied negative 1 that is equal to negative 3 do we have this yes that's the c right guys and uh, now this is the way like uh, when we substitute the value of m in the you know fraction and there is another way as well so that is 4m plus 3n divided by 4m minus 3n correct now if i say what do we know there we know m by n so if i divide by n here in the numerator and denominator so what i get 4m by n 
plus 3 divided by 4 m by n minus 3 because I divided by m but divided by n or you can understand like this I think that works much better right guys so because this is ultimately n cancel by n n cancel by n and what we know about the m by n m by n is 3 by 8 so you can just sub substitute now the m by n so 3 by 8 plus 3 divided by 4 multiply 3 by 8 plus minus 3 now if you uh, you know solve this just like the same thing we got it here 36 by 8 divided by negative 12 by 8 and that is negative 3. So there are two ways to solve this question. You can use the either one. Okay, guys, quickly check it. Take your time. Okay, now question number four. Uh, you need to simplify this, right? If you see this, so it's look weird, right? It's like division, and then again we have you know fraction there. So what to do? Okay, let me tell you. Let me change the. Okay, so we need to you know simplify this. So first of all, simplify from the bottom. 2 minus 1 over, first of all simplify this, okay, so this is 2 minus, when you simplify this, this will be like, you can understand 1 over 1, so you need to make the denominator same, so you can write down 1 plus x divided by 1 plus x plus 1 over 1 plus x, okay, this is 1 minus, this is what? Now, because the denominator is same, so you can add the, I mean, numerator 1 plus x plus 1. So, it's going to be 2 plus x divided by 1 plus x, right? Now, we know this is a fraction under the, you know, this one. So, this will be what? Reciprocal. So, the fraction in the denominator will be reciprocal. So, it will be 1 plus x divided by 2 plus x. Now, you can make the denominator same as the 2 plus x. So, this will be what? 2 times 2 plus x divided by 2 plus x minus 1 plus x divided by 2 plus x right uh, i'm just writing down here so after this so this is going to be what 2 plus x is the you know the combined denominator there and this is 4 plus 2x right and always you know keep inside the bracket if you have something with the subtraction so this is 4 plus 2x minus 1 minus x divided by 2 plus x and this is going to be 3 plus x divided by 2 plus x right or x plus 3 divided by x plus 2 so that is c is the answer okay guys please check this quickly Okay, guys. Now, question number five. Look at this question and try to understand what should we do there, right? 
I'll let you know how to solve. This this question look uh, you know a difficult one because there is so much information there. But believe me, SAT can ask you this type of question even right. Okay, let me solve you guys first. Uh, so first of all, if you have, you know, uh, you read this, right? And this is saying the equation above is true for all values of A and B, uh, like constants, find the value of A multiplied by B. This is the question, right? So we have, you know, the two fractions there, the, you know, equation there, okay? So whatever there in the denominator, if you get rid of that denominator, then it will be very easy to solve this, you know, equation there. Then how to do, how to do that, how to get rid of those denominator. So why not you multiply in the entire equation by 2x plus 3? Okay, we can do. So if you are multiplying by 2x plus 3 in the entire equation, so you multiply 2x plus 3 here, you will multiply 2x, uh, you know, plus 3 uh, with 8. You will multiply 2x plus 3 with negative 2 and you will multiply 2x plus 3 uh, with b over this so this to cancel out this one also cancel out so what is left there so left is 16x square plus ax plus 11 is equal to 8x times 2x plus 3 right guys minus 2 times 2x plus 3 and plus b Okay, hope you guys understand till uh, here. So now this become 16x square plus ax plus 11. And then when you, you know, multiply here inside. So this is going to be 16x square plus 24x. And when you multiply here, so negative 4x minus 6 plus b. Okay. Uh, now, because of 16x square is both sides, so you can just cancel out, right? So this side you have ax plus 11 is equal to 24x minus 4x, that is 20x minus 6 plus b. Okay, you know this is the equation and this is true for all values of a and b. So now you can compare the both sides. If you compare the both sides, so how do we compare? So you check what is the coefficient of both sides or coefficient of x both sides. So coefficient of x both sides, this side it is a, this side it is 20, then it should be same. That means a is equal to 20. Right guys? And then you check another thing, another thing was constant. So what is the constant here? Constant this side is 11 and this side constant is negative 6 plus b because b is also the constant. So 11 is equal to negative 6 plus b. That means B is equal to 11 plus 6, that is equal to 17, guys. Right? And what do we need to find there? We need to find A product B. Right? So, what is A product B? So, A product B is 20 multiplied by 17, that is equal to 340. Right guys, so A multiplied by B is equal to 340 and that is B. Okay, quickly check this guys. So this is actually what we did there. So we just you need to we need to get rid of this denominator. So we multiply by 2x plus 3 in every, you know, term of this uh, equation. So when we, when we multiply by 2x plus 3, so this side and this side, so, you know, they here 
and in this case so if the denominator cancel out and 8x multiply by 2x plus 3 and negative 2 multiply by 2x plus 3 and then we just now after that we just simplified that right so don't be scared after that right just simplify and because this equation is true for all values of a and b that means what you need to do you just need to compare the both side right if you compare the both sides so what do you need to compare so you need to compare the coefficients of x and you need to compare the constant from the both side right so if you compare the coefficients of x there so a is equal to 20 and 11 is equal to negative 6 plus b then you find a as well as b and if you multiply a into b that is equal to 340. so actually what we uh, you know discuss this here so these are the very important formula i told you like you need to you know uh, on your tips this formula so this is like a plus b all square a square plus b square plus 2ab and then a minus b all square a square minus b square believe me they they ask you in entire SAT paper they ask you many times over the questions over this concept like a square minus b square this is a plus b multiply a minus b right also a cube plus b cube uh, so I, I discussed like SAT algebra only have you know uh, out of 58 question, maybe you'll get the 20 to 25 question from the SAT algebra only, right? So if you have good hold on the SAT algebra, believe me, you are going to be do very good in the entire SAT math test, right? So for the SAT math, definitely you should have the good hold on the SAT algebra, right? Then only uh, you will be able to get, you know, 750 plus or 800 perfect square. Perfect square, you should only target the perfect square if you are above average or in fact, if you are, if you, if you feel like as a, I mean, the math is not a, uh, your cup of tea, sometimes certain thing. So still you need to do is you need to start practicing about the math. Math is just like uh, you, you know, you understand the concept, you apply that concept in number of questions. Uh, as soon as you start doing the, you know, questions, uh, in, I mean, applying that concept in number of questions, believe me, you are going to be have the interest in the math. And uh, once you started uh, taking interest in the math, nobody can stop you. Math is not like uh, like only if the if there's any genius or something like that, only he can do, uh, he see can do the SAT, you know, or math, general math even. So anybody can do the math, anybody can do and you all are genius okay guys so we discuss these things right uh, now uh, an academy store uh, that is going to be open on March 13 right guys and Delhi address is 30 Pusa Road all Rajinder Nagar it's near Metro Pillar 121 and registration is mandatory to visit the uh, an academy store on March 12 to 13 you can register now okay for the you know if you want to visit there so please register yourself uh, also uh, right now actually uh, an academy till you know it's a, a it's an offer actually till 31st of march and the offer is very good so if you are if you are if you if you are going to take the SAT, definitely you need the ielts as well right so uh, you have the free oil subscription and uh, with six months of the SAT subscription. So if you are taking the six months of SAT subscription, you will get the free oil subscription there. And but this is valid for the first hundred subscription only, right? Okay. And then uh, because if you are taking the six month subscription, right? So the price of the six month subscription is eighteen thousand. But but if you are taking right now till thirty first of March, so it will cost you seventy two hundred believe me 7200 is so much you know good price you are getting the like 60 percent discount yeah right 60 percent discount and what you'll get you'll get the structured courses you'll get the 20 full length mock test you'll get the 300 plus hours recorded content right you'll get the live doubt solving classes so many things in just like 7200 for six months wow okay and uh, an academy free special class features is like uh, now you can you know real time inter you can do the real time inter interaction with your uh, trainer or the educator using the chat in the emojis emojis you know everybody like the emojis nowadays ask question using the question tab and you can uh, you know uh, you can take parts in the live poll option for the quizzes uh, quizzes means like if the you know teacher pop up any question or to you so that's like quizzes 
four le uh, leaderboard also there so you can check if you have you know number of students are uh, taking the class and everybody is giving the answer of the uh, you know quiz so you will be able to understand where are you standing out of those you know students is your position first second third trend or whatever right so you can just check your what is the leaderboard so you can compete with your friends there right uh, Bugs Bounty is also there, so you have the opportunity for all learner to report any or the inappropriate content in the video. So you you can be, be the first one to report the particular issues to claim your prize, right? So you have the prize if you see there is inappropriate, uh, you know, the content in the video. Okay, guys, uh, this is all. Thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share as much as possible. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye bye.